Ever wondered about those numbers past the ruler? Then you've thought about surreal numbers. I'll be covering what these magical numbers are, how to write them, and how to use them in a game. So what are surreal numbers? Surreal numbers are part of a system that contain all real numbers along with infinite and infinitesimal numbers that are bigger or smaller in absolute value than any real positive number. That's a mouthful, so let's break it down. What this means is that a surreal number is a number that is either bigger or smaller than any conceivable real number. Imagine a spectrum with infinitesimals on the leftmost side and infinity on the rightmost side with all real numbers in the middle and having a bubble around it. That bubble is all real conceivable numbers. And past this bubble are what we call surreal numbers. Starting on the right side of the spectrum, numbers are so large that they are seemingly infinite. While conversely, numbers on the left are so small that we cannot even measure them with the most advanced tools of today's world. Just to put that in perspective, imagine a closed room with a near infinite number of particles inside the room and, and take one particle out and put it in relation to the rest of the particles. Impossible, right? This is because it is impossible to conceive an unquantified number which is why we use the surreal number system. All it does is quantify normally unquantifiable numbers. An example of this would be to write infinity plus one, which infinity, normally not a number, can be quantified in this case with bracket, ome uh, bracket omega bar blank space bracket, seen here. Now, this bracket, the set, is called a form. A pair of sets of surreal numbers each has a left set and a right set with L and R respectively. In a form, the elements of the right set must be greater than those of the left, so writing omega bar omega would be incorrect. Now, under here, I've put some typical values you'll see if you're learning surreal numbers starting from negative one, going to positive one. Negative one is written as bracket, blank space, bar, zero, bracket. This is because we have a blank space, which technically is not a value because values start from blank space, which is nothing, into zero, and then spread outwards on the uh, negative number line and positive number line. And next value up is zero. This is the only value that can have both, uh, I mean, have the same left and right set because they technically don't exist. So it is zero. And on one, we just reverse negative one's form because it's, we have to get rid of that negative. And of course, I can't forget the halves, which is what makes serial numbers to have that go down infinitely. So we write negative one bar zero. This is to have two values on this side and one value on this side to make negative one half. And of course we reverse this to get positive one half. Now onto the next portion, the mathematical game I told you about, but this game is called Hackenbush, the perfect real explanation of forms. Hackenbush is a two-player game that players remove lines of a certain color to leave their opponent with no more pieces to take. The rules are, you may remove any piece of your color once per turn, and if you cannot, you lose. Any pieces not connected to the ground, seen here, will be deleted, regardless of color. For example, if I were to remove the red bar seen here, all pieces above that red bar that are not connected to the ground anymore would be deleted, and we would only have these pieces to work with. So, I'm going to play a game just to show you how this works. So I will, I'll be blue, and a AI will be red. So I will start by taking this piece. The AI will take, say, this piece. I take this piece to remove her, I mean, the AI is red. 
the AI takes this piece, I take this piece to remove the AI's red line above, and the AI takes this piece to remove mine. I take this piece, and the game just continues on until one player cannot make a move. Now, since they took my piece, I mark here, and it just goes on till we run out of pieces. Now, the game continues on until one player cannot make a move, not until they don't have any pieces left. So it goes back to me, and since I have no more blue pieces to move, I lose, and the AI, I would win. That is Hackenbush. So, I've talked about inf infinity and infinitesimals in relation to surreal numbers, which they technically are. How to see and kind of think about infinitesimals in general. And how to write some forms. And that is all for my video. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has inspired you to go out and seek new mathematical randomness